Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Demonstration on DDBJ and Unipro databases. So, we will give details about the contents of DDBJ and how to submit the sequences and how to obtain the sequences using various search options available in DDBJ as well as the supercomputing facility available in DDBJ. In Unipro, we will demonstrate about the availability and the contents in Uniprod and the growth and statistics and the number of data available in Swissprod as well as TREMBL and the different search options like simple search and advanced search options available in Uniprod and how to extract the data and how to utilize the data for the uh, future applications. Uh, hello, I am Ambush Rastam. Now, I am going to describe about uh, DDBJ database, which is a nucleotide sequence database. So, you can see there are multiple options such as uh, data submission, search and analysis, computer, uh, supercomputer facility and FTP thing. So, uh, using data submission uh, option, you can submit your sequences, nucleotide sequences into this database and using search analysis tool, you can uh, extract the data and analyze it uh, for future use. Then using supercomputing, you can uh, use uh, their supercomputing facility for analyzing your data and FTP, they give some, uh, some of the tools. So, first of all, let me go through uh, data submission. So, in data submission, you can see there are two kind of options. One is nucleotide sequence submission system and another one is mass submission system. Uh, then. Uh, in nucleotide submission system, you can if you will uh, go in, you can find there is a manual page. So, if you will open manual, you can see. So, they have provided a link uh, for the submission and they also gave a step by step details of how to uh, submit your data in uh, DDBJ. So, apart from uh, data submission, you can also go for analysis and search. So, there are two important search options, one is get entry and another one is ARSA. So, get entry, you can get uh, entries by accession number and in ARSA, you can do all round uh, retrieval. So, uh, then there is taxonomic search, BLAST and different, different kind of search uh, tools which you can uh, explore further. So, uh, here I am going to tell you about get entry and ARSA. So, first of all, let me go through ARSA. So, uh, here you can put your sequence, for example, myoglobin and get its detail here. So, also you can take the uh, primary accession number and copy and go to the uh, search option using get entry. So, you can just put your ID and get the sequence. Uh, in flat file format here. Also, if you want to choose a different file format, you can choose it from mm, these options. Then in ARSA, there are two kind of search option. One is quick search, another one is advanced search. So, in quick search, you can directly put a keyword and get the entries. In advanced search, you can uh, choose an entry by multiple uh, fields. For example, if you want to give a primary accession number, that will be one thing, then accession number, sequence, length, molecular type and different, different uh, options are available. So, for all this, how you can do is, uh, uh, that is given through an example. So, you can see, if you want to make a match a pattern, for example, uh, this one. So, in this pattern, the last digit can be anything. So, you can see that all five zeros are there and then last large is only different. Otherwise, everything is same. So, if you see in example, you can also do the same thing in quick search just by mentioning the field name in the start. So, P A is a primary accession number. If you will go to the uh, quick search, 
So, the, in the same way you can do it here and you can get the same entries. So, uh, this is all about the search uh, and analysis options in DDBJ. Then you have a supercomputing option in the DDBJ and uh, how to use this supercomputing facility, this uh, all the information you get, you, know, you can get from this how to use the system option. So, here you can find the details. Also, if you want to uh, transfer a file or uh, you want to know their hardware and software configuration, you can see it from here. So, this is all for DDBJ uh, in this class. Now, I am going to tell you about Uniprot. So, uh, Uniprot contains a link to lot of databases, for example, Swissprot, TREMBL, Uniref, Parks and Proteome. So, uh, Swissprot is a manually annotated and reviewed entries. Then uh, automatically annotated and not reviewed entries are there in TREMBL. Then Uniref contains a sequence clusters of three kind, one is 50 percent sequence identity and then one is 90 percent and 100 percent. Then Unipark is a, a unique uh, resource uh, which contain only unique sequences and there is no duplicacy here. And uh, then proteomes you uh, get proteins of only expression, expression proteins you can get here. So, first of all let me take you to the about Uniprot uh, page where it uh, all the details of Uniprot are mentioned. For example, uh, in the top you can see that uh, full name of Uniprot that is Universal Protein Resource and uh, which is a, uh, a collaboration between U EIB, uh, e EMBL, then uh, SIV and PIR. Also, if you want to see more about how to use uh, uh, Uniprot KB, you can see Uniprot manual. Uh, now, let me take you to the statistics page. So, in the statistics, you can get details of both kind of uh, databases, one is SwissProt and TREMBL. So, if you will go through uh, SwissProt, in the top option, you can see there is a general detail of uh, sequences and entries and how the entries has been increased uh, during the year from, uh, from around 90s to uh, now. So, then you can get the taxonomic origin details, uh, sequence data and all other details. One important uh, detail you can get at the end is what are the amino acid distribution in Uniprot uh, for all these sequences. So, you can see leucine is the highest and uh, tryptophan is lowest as uh, been told in the lectures. And uh, this also be, uh, could be because 6 uh, codon code for leucine and just 1 codon code for tryptophan. Then uh, as far as search, search option is concerned, you can do a simple search using keywords um, by writing any keyword on the top. For example, myoglobin. So, you can get the detail here for the sequences. Then if you want to uh, filter your search further, you can uh, do it from here. For example, if you want to check only reviewed entries, you can just click here and you will get reviewed entries. You can further refine it. For example, if you want it from uh, human only or from mouse only, you can click somewhere around here. Or if you want to cluster your data on the basis of 100 percent sequence alignment or 90 percent or 50 percent, you uh, that you can do it from here. Also, uh, only these many options are available in the first page. So, if you want to increase any column here, you can uh, add the column and just click on the uh, column and save. So, you can see a uh, mass column here which has been added. Uh, now, if you want to download the data, you can click on each of the data and download it from here or if you want to download all the data, then uh, there is no need of uh, selecting anyone and you can download all the data. So, in advanced search option, uh, you can just click on advanced search and type any keyword here or if you want it uh, from some specific thing, you can uh, choose from here. For example, let us say you want it, uh, want a sequence from human only. So, human. 
then let us say protein name is myoglobin and I do not want this such criteria. So, so, in this way you can get all the sequences for myoglobin protein in which first sequence is only reviewed other than that all are non reviewed which you can see from the left side only one entry is there in uh, reviewed part. So, this is how you can uh, use um, uniprot apart from that you can do uh, retrieve ID mapping. So, in this option what you can give is uh, you can give an identifier from one database and identify the uh, um, um, data from the other database. For example, uh, if you take these two uniprot ID and if you want to know what is the PDB ID is available for these two sequences, you can give the IDs here and choose PDB here. So, here you can see that for, for the first ID, you have uh, around 4 PDBs and for the second ID you have around 3 PDBs. So, also you can if you want you can perform blast or if you want you can align two sequences uh, or pep, uh, by using a peptide based search also you can uh, you can do. There are a uh, lot of options available in uniprot uh, which you can explore from the uh, home page. Thank you.